In this question, if you see, we have been given to evaluate using identities and we have to evaluate the value of this particular arithmetic operation, right? So uh, the important thing is we have to use identities. So what was an algebraic identity? If you remember, there were lots of identities we have discussed so far. So, uh, which one should we use here? So, is it an A plus B whole square form, A minus B whole square form? So, which one? So, the catch is, if you look closely, the two numbers, 103 and 97, 103 and 97 are very close to 100, isn't it? So, 103 is 100 plus 3. And if you see, 97 can be written as 100 minus 3. Beautiful, isn't it? So if you see 100 plus 3 and 100 minus 3. So if you look closely, it's again like this is A. And this one looks like B. Then again, this is A. And this one looks like B. And if you remember, friends, A minus B, or sorry, A plus B times A minus B was given as A square minus B square. This was one of the algebraic identities which we discussed before. So very good looks like uh, we can reduce this form, this particular expression in form of a square minus b square. So a was 100, so it will become 100 square. And b was 3 over here, so it will be 3 square, isn't it? Now it becomes very easy to calculate why. 100 square, no brainer, you can put four zeros after one, it becomes 100 square. And 3 square is 9, so now it becomes very easy to subtract. So if you see, Using algebraic identities, we could reduce a multiplication, very ugly looking multiplication, in fact, into a very sweet subtraction problem. So you can figure out the answer. So it's nothing but 1, 9, 9, 9. Isn't it? So answer is 9,991. Very easily done using identities. Let us take another one to reinforce the learning okay here is another question so question is evaluate using identities again what kind of identities we are talking about algebraic algebraic identities there are trigonometric identities other identities as well okay so how to evaluate using identities so that that means 0.99 square so now 0.99 square could have been uh, calculated by our usual multiplication method isn't it but then that would be a cumbersome process then what is the use of learning algebra so hence let us see how algebra rescues us from this cumbersome this ugly looking multiplication problem so if you see 0.99 is nothing but 1 minus 0 0.01 isn't it 0 0.99 is 1 minus 0 0.01 and there's a square so now if you consider 1 as a and uh, let's say this 0 0.01 as b then this is simply a minus b whole square isn't it and from our knowledge of algebraic identities we know a minus b whole square is a square minus twice a times b these dots are not decimals this is multiplication so a square minus 2 times a times b plus b square this is an algebraic identity so let us use this so where a is give you know 1 and b is 0 0.01 so a minus b whole square will be nothing but 0 0.99 whole square and using the identities i can write this as 1 square minus 2 times 1 times 0 0.01 plus 0 0.01 whole squared isn't it so if you see this is nothing but 1 minus 0 0.02 plus 0 0.0001 i hope you know how to square a decimal number so there are two digits after the decimal so if you square it there will be four digits after the decimal so if you see this is the value so hence if you if you really solve it it is 1.0001 minus 0 0.02 right which is nothing but if you do the calculation this is 1 0 8 9 and 0 0.9801 you can do this on the sidelines as well 
so 1.0001 c and then i have to i have to subtract 0 0.02 from here so you know this is 0 0 so 1 minus 0 is 1 0 minus 0 is 0 then 0 minus 2 so hence you have to borrow so it is 10 minus 2 that is 8 so this 0 becomes 9 now so 9 minus 0 is 9 and since you borrowed so nothing is left here so it is nothing but 0 0.9801 one so this is the answer to this particular problem so hence we learned what using an identity to solve a mathematical arithmetic problem